Welcome to this Q&A. I was recently asked if obedience contradicted the gospel or evangel of grace. As some of you might know, there is a belief by many that we're now living under a new dispensation of grace, free from that old and archaic law that we find in the Old Testament. Is this true? Are we now living under a new dispensation of grace and does it invalidate the Old Testament commandments? Well, the answer is instead of obedience and grace being contradictory notions, they complement one another. Here's a truth as we find it in the Bible. Scripture defines grace as favor from our Father in heaven. It's found in both Old and New Testaments. Matter of fact, it's first found in reference to Noah in Genesis chapter 6. So from this, we know at minimum that grace and obedience existed side by side in the Old Testament. Now, we also find the same thing in the New. From the Apostle Paul, we learn that the purpose of our Father's grace or goodness is to bring us to repentance. Here's what he says in Romans 2 verse 4. He says, Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Elohim leads thee to repentance. So we see that Yahweh's grace leads us to repentance. Understand that repentance literally means to think or act differently. In other words, it's a complete turning away from our sinful flesh to the word of our Father in heaven. Scripture also shows that through grace we're justified or redeemed from our sins. Here's what we find in Romans chapter 3, verse 24. It says, Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Messiah Yahshua. So we, as we see here, justification or redemption is found by grace through the blood of Yahshua the Messiah. Now, does grace give us a pass to continue in our sinful ways and to ignore Yahweh's commandments. Romans chapter 6, verse 14 has this to say in, in, in that regard. It says this, For sin shall not have a dominion, dominion over you, for you are not under the law but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? Certainly not. Now what is Paul referring to when he says, You are not under the law but under grace? He's referring to redemption and simply making the point that justification is by grace and not by the law. As we see here, though, this fact does not justify sin, which according to 1 John 3, 4, is the transgression or breaking of Yahweh's law. So Paul here is confirming that there is a place for grace and obedience in the New Testament. Like consider one more passage referring to grace, and this is in Jude chapter 1, verse 4. Actually, there's... Just one chapter here, but verse 4 in the book of Jude, a very important passage. It says this, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, wicked men, turning the grace of our Elohim into lasciviousness and denying the holy or the only sovereign Yahweh and our master Yahshua Messiah. The Bible prophesies here that there would be those who would turn Yahweh's grace into lasciviousness or sin. Those who believe that grace frees us from the obligation to obey our Father's commandments, they are doing precisely what we find here. They are turning His grace into lasciviousness or sin. So we find here that Yahweh's grace was never meant to do away with the commandments or the need to obey. Matter of fact, Revelation 12, verse 17 and 14, verse 12 defines a believer as one who keeps the commandments and believes in Yahshua the Messiah. So to answer the question, does obedience contradict the gospel of grace? Or well, the answer is obviously no. Well, I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. And as always, we would encourage you to prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. Until next time, may Yahweh bless. Bye-bye.